What's up friends, welcome back to 3 Tales. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick little instructional video on how I made these fluted columns for our bookcases. Uh, stick around, it's going to be a pretty quick video, but I hope that you guys get to learn something. Or just like watching me play with wood. As a hobbyist. So I'm using maple wood at 2 inches. I actually have a local lumber supplier that is selling 2 inch prefaced maple at a ridiculous cost. So I'm making all of this out of maple because that makes sense. I'm setting up a stop block on my miter saw so that I can do all of these cuts. Usually I would do the routing first and then cut it down to shape. But since these are going to have very precise end lines, I need to make sure that I get all the cuts precise in the beginning before I start the routing. This build is going to end up going through a lot of different router bits, but the first one we're going to use is a 45 degree chamfer. I'm making sure to start the chamfer edge before the end of the board, and I'm going to end it before I leave the wood as well, if that makes sense. I do everything in multiple passes to make sure that I limit burn and any tear out that's possible. So this is going to be our first change out on the router bit. We're going from the chamfer to a 3 8 inch cove bit. This is going to be used to make the main aesthetic of the fluting on our column. And the first one we're going to do is going to run directly down the center of the column. We have a stop block line that's set up at the front and the back of our router fence. And that's going to tell me where to begin and where to stop to make sure that I get these a precise amount away from the ends of our column. To do the outside fluting on our column, we're going to bring in our router fence 3 8 of an inch and then we'll be using our outside marks on our router fence to gauge and tell us where to stop and start. This will give us the surrounded look around the center fluting and it will give us a staggered aesthetic. The last bit that we're going to be using is going to be our quarter inch round over bit. This is a decorative piece, and it's going to have a small line that's left proud, and it's going to make the fluting look like it's raised off of the surface. I like it very much, and this one we are going to be able to use the entirety of it. So using the guide bushing, we can just run off the edge of the wood, since we want it to go the entire way. Once that was done, I took the piece over to the miter station and I cut it off at a 45 degree angle, leaving about a quarter inch of the piece left at the top. Once that was done, it was ready to go over to sanding. Because of all the grooves and corners and turns and everything, it had to be done with hand sanding. I did it all the way up to 220 grit. I will not show you that whole process because it's very boring. And any time that you plan on staining something dark black, make sure to wear all white. It's the smartest thing you can do. But seriously, I went through and I stained everything all deep black and I made sure it got inside of all the grooves and crevices and flipped it over, made sure it was all a nice even coat. And then I let it sit for about 20 minutes. When that was done, I came and wiped it off with the towel and made sure it was all rubbed in really good. I let it sit overnight for about 24 hours and then it was ready for spray lacquer. To finish and seal this, we are using a two-part sand and sealer and lacquer that we get from Sherwin-Williams. It's a little bit expensive, but it does cure in about 15 minutes and it makes larger projects like this very easy to spray and keep moving. In between each coat, I'm doing a 400 grit sanding and then making sure to use a tack cloth and a blower to get any of the residual dust off. I did this about three to four times and made sure it was nice and clear with no clouding. And with that, it was done and ready to get assembled onto the bookcase. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something and maybe feel a little inspired to go and build something yourself. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our channel for some of our other videos. We hope to see you around soon and we'll see you on the next build. Bye friends.